stay low, bro. Or he'll spoil the fun. There's danger ahead. More danger than you know, Outlander. You're trespassing. On Nora land, it's forbidden. My life is forfeit. Yes, yes, yes. Are we done? Call me no. Look there. Those old rocks. A bandit clan squats on them. Disturb the rocks and they'll come wriggling out. Worms that they are. Bandits. Why have they come here? The Nora are in trouble. Rumors spread like blood. And no braves to guard the border. Killers hungry for sport slip right through. My partner and I shadowed these scum for days. The tracker, but he went on ahead without me. We talked about this kind of behavior. Still, I understand. Leave it too long, your fingers itch for the bowstring. Say, how about you and I work together? Kill them all? I don't know you, and I have no reason to trust you. Trust is a rare egg to find, isn't it? I'm just a traveler. With a bow, concern about the state of these lands, and a missing partner. I don't think you're just anything at all. Hmm. Well, let me put it another way. Are you a bandit? Of course not. Then you have nothing to fear for me. I don't need your help to clear out some bandits. Alone. That's acceptable. Don't worry. If they killed you, I'll finish them off before they can make a cup of your skull and the other parts in back. That's the alarm. Let them sound it and more will come running. It's a gift. And if you're the heroic kind who needs a little extra, there's the captives. Change your mind? No, just checking you weren't lining up a shot on my back. You have my word. Never from the back. I'll admit, at first I felt slighted by your selfishness. But you know, I'm glad I stayed to watch. Every kill you made, I put my fingers on an arrow head just to, to feel part of things. You were keeping score? What's wrong with you? I saw you at the I didn't find your partner. They killed him. I hardly feel surprised. He was already getting cocky when we carved through the last bandit camp. I thought he and I would be and we enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss. Nothing in the wilds I can't handle, just me and the voice of our teeth here. Your bow has a name? Yours doesn't. You're not just a traveler. That armor was fitted for you, and the way you hold your bow. I said a concern was proud. And I was a soldier, but I was a soldier longer than there was a war to follow. Where the arrowhead passes between armor and skin, that's the place I can walk. So I make opportunities to find it. That's right, come and help. Have you ever thought about hunting machines? Well, they don't get that look in their eyes. Did bandits wrong you somehow? They wrong us all. They live filthy lives, so they have to die that way too. So you hunt them down to help others? No, no. For sport. I can't wait for wars anymore. Life's too short and the thrill of death too sharp. If you kill a tribesman, there'll be retribution. Hunt a boar, they complain if you waste the meat. But bandits, they're vicious. They always put up a fight, and no one cares if you kill them. I'm not sure who's worse. You or them. We're standing. They're not. Clearly, we were back. We're done here. Here? I'm afraid so. But we live in a world of ruins, and bandits are drawn to them like infection to a wound. You wouldn't have that infection set in a room. I'm sure we'll meet again. Maybe. If it can't be helped. If we pass each other by, we'll never die. Mm -hmm. 
I saw some of the places you'd been. The new settlers have no appreciation of craft. They'd already piled your work in a ditch. But I knew the signs to look for. The scrabble and the dirt. Those surprised splashes. And I did tell you we'd meet again. No. Still hunting bandits? Oh, yes. I've been sharpening my blade, anticipating the scent of the fight. But don't get me wrong. These scum are odorous. A little panic and desperation really sets it off, though. Like an incense. So, what's your knife called? Why would someone name a knife? So much for small talk. Are you ready? I didn't need your aid before, and I still don't. Now that I've seen what you can do, you don't get another camp for free. Think of this as a friendly competition. <laughs> friendly? Remember how the blood pounded in your ears? They'll ring later, in the calm. It's a call to arms, from your inner desires. Or a cry for help. I wouldn't fight it. I can tell. So you used to be a soldier. You fought for the Karja? Oh, for them, against them. An empire always finds its wars. You can't be picky. The new king of Vod saw things differently. Called an investigation into war crimes. Aren't all wars a crime to someone? Still, I raised my hand and volunteered. You volunteered to investigate? No, I volunteered my confession. No sense wasting time with an investigation. I was sent to Sunstone Rock for two years. The trade was fair. They sent you to a rock for two years? Is this some kind of Karja ritual? No, no. Sunstone Rock is a prison, south of Meridian, south of the Rain Gathers. Our new Sun King is a believer in rehabilitation, as am I. In the heat of a stone cell, in the dark, I learned to focus on what was truly important to me. What were these things you did, Nil? Acceptable things, under the circumstances. <laughs> Acceptable to who? I don't make decisions. Let's just say the rules of engagement suited me. But rules are important. A structure. Cage. Otherwise, you know of those places, lonely places where people once were? Now just a hole cut in the world. Chances are, I was there before. Have you found a new partner yet? I thought we were partners. I have my own roads to follow, Nil. And they seem to lead back to bandits. That works for me. I'm not suggesting a Karja wedding. I'm never lonely where there's killing to be done. Time to move on. A brief encounter for us, but the end for them. They were squalid lives anyway. Mm. I waited for you. Time passing pulls the anticipation tight as wire. Ah, oh, how many has it been now? I don't keep count, no. Don't keep count? Sometimes I just don't get you. Are you like us, or a little different? Hopefully a little different. Mm, that's what you're gonna tell yourself. Shall we get started? These little moments are refreshing, aren't they? That could be the least creepy thing you've said to me. Oh, that glimpse of yourself in their eyes just as the cloud of death passes across them. Never mind, there it goes. You know, Nil, if you get tired of bandits, there is a group called the Eclipse. That's a political situation. They're murderers, and they're raising an army of machines. That's a little more than politics. Don't hate me for being single-minded. Besides, I wouldn't bet on how long the Shadow Cards are going to last, if you're in for the kill. We've come a long way from Norland. Where have you been, Nil? I heard the roads of the Sundom were no longer safe. And thankfully, it was true. Ambushes, raiding parties, even corrupted machines. The mortal wounds just opened themselves to accept my arrows. But you knew this already. 
You've been walking on the edge of life and death. I can tell. Yeah. It's a long story. With many quick endings, I hope. Goodbye, Nell. I don't want to alarm you, but the bandits are thinning out. Makes you wish you could kill them more than once, doesn't it? No, once is enough. You're right, of course, once is enough. When you really make it count. Okay, goodbye, Nil. It's so bittersweet. Like a smile for bloody teeth. What's the matter? You look disappointed. <sighs> oh, the bandit clans are gone. I hear another turned back at the Southern Plains, just at a sniff of the legend we carved. That's what all this bloodshed was for, to end the bandit threat. But now there's nothing left to kill, unless... No, no. I guess this is our last farewell. After all we've been through, this isn't the place for that. There's a mesa south of Meridian with a view of the spear shafts. Meet me there. No. I did wonder on my way here... Well, if you were luring me into an ambush. Where's the fun in that? Some bandit sprawl would never have done for our arena. But this... Much better. There's a sense of drama. So, what do you say? How about we try to kill each other? Wait. You brought me out here to ask if I want to fight you? To the death. We'll savor it, because we only get this one time. Actually, I don't know what else I expected. If this is how it has to end, Nil... Everything does. Only... you are so conscientious. I wouldn't want to push you into something that wasn't genuine. Especially death. There's nothing more genuine. That's very thoughtful of you. Let's finish this. Shouldn't be... Oh, don't look so concerned. I should say, I always knew it would end this way. Since we first met. But if I'm honest... I thought I could take you. Do you know a hunter named Nil? He told me about this place. Nil? That's what he calls himself now. Is he well? I maybe wouldn't say well. He was born under a long and dark shadow, but he wasn't a knife without a thought behind it. Like the butchers of the Sunring. He had honor. Old-fashioned. His time here... boiled it to the surface. <laughs> 